All right, how's it going y'all? As you might have guessed from that first little clip, we are putting a welded differential in the 350Z. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is get this thing cleaned up, make sure where there's no junk in the bottom of it, uh, seal it back up, fill it with fluid, and then throw it back in the 350Z. Like everything, this is kind of a time crunch for me. Um, so we're gonna get this thing done. And then I think the next video you guys will see will be putting the hydro in the car. So stick around, it should get sideways very soon. Okay guys, I didn't want to bore y'all with cleaning this up, um, but just basically the most important part is to make sure you get it thoroughly clean after the fact, after it's been welded. Uh, what I did was I just went in here, sprayed it down with like um, simple green or any kind of like grease lightning, anything, and pressure washed it. And that might scare a lot of people, but getting this wet is not going to hurt it. Letting it sit with water on it is what will hurt it. So I just went in there with a the pressure washer and pressure washed it really, really, really good. And then, uh, then I just hit it with some parts cleaner to kind of flush the water out of it. And then I took the extra pressure to it. But it is bone dry and ready to be put back together. Um, you just get like a lot of dirt and stuff like that and the you know slag from when you're welding. So, and those little those little pieces of metal will get places and get stuck and you will never find them until they come loose and get wedged in your gear and destroy your your pinion so make sure you clean it very 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 well so that's what i did i just basically kept spraying it and pressure washing it and pressure washing it and then once i felt i had it really clean um i just hit it with some parts cleaner thin compressed air and as you see it's dry it's perfectly fine we're about to clean the clean the ceiling surface up throw the cover on it fill it up put it in the car and she is ready to go but the diff turns freely that's the the snout up there running or rubbing but even with it rubbing like i said there's no binding nothing like that spinning free and that's what you want so she is good to go it's really easy to get carried away with this stuff um this is what i'm using uh, you don't really need that much. I mean, you basically got to think it's it's uh, going. Th this is going to go right against it, so it's going to squish all that out. So you just want a nice bead. Nice. Don't get carried away. You don't need like you know a quarter inch thick bead of this stuff all the way around because it's just going to squish out and make a horrible mess. So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do? Just something along that lines right there. And I always kind of like to go in front of the, where the bolts are. All right, and that should do it. Like I said, I'm going to go around the back because just a little bit to connect it. Not too much. Like I said, you don't want to get carried away. But even this is probably too much to be honest. Like I said, you're not trying to fill a gap here. I mean, it's basically, this is going to go 
100% flush against the diff, so 90% of this stuff is going to squish out everywhere and make a total mess. So, and you can take your finger and rub it smooth and get it all over the place if you want to. I'm probably not going to do that just because I don't like getting this crap on my hands, but it's your, your preference, I guess. But all right, let's throw this thing together and finally get it in the car. Okay, told a little fib. I actually did <laughs> go through and flatten it all out. It was just kind of irritating me because it didn't look very even, but that's what we got going on. Just wanted to be straight up with you guys and honest. Okay. Basically all you want to do is just get yourself lined up. Take a bolt, stick it through, and you can kind of eye it up. And uh, I'm gonna double check, make sure everything's good. So I was like worried I forgot something. Yep, just kind of eye it up and Get that one started and kind of keep it off of it for a second. Get another one started and then you can do them. Squish it on there. Go ahead and get them all hand started. I left one in the truck. Let me go grab it real quick. Okay. Once you get them all hand started and you know they're threading, you know, correctly, they're not cross threading or anything, you want to break out your favorite torque wrench. This is very, very important. You want to torque this to make sure it goes on good. And then you just kind of want to do a certain sequence to make sure that it's actually torquing straight. Oh, yeah. I messed it up guys and just like that magic you are done it's all torqued up ready to rock and roll so we're gonna let this dry for uh, maybe an hour or so without touching it and then we'll throw it in the car okay guys let me explain this is another project or I promise just picked this up for parts so don't worry everything else is still gonna plan white 350z first then the 2 FD so don't worry but just want to show you guys this. It's like I said, I'll be parting the car out. So if you need any parts, let me know. But we'll check it out real quick. Um, let's see where to start. It's the inside of the car. You can see there's body parts inside. That's never a good sign. The car runs and drives. It has uh, roughly 130, say 140, I guess. Yeah, pretty much committing to the uh, the 350Z as my learn how to drive uh, platform. You can kind of see some of the damage right there. Um, world's in an accident. I'm sure it could be fixed, but I'm not going to mess with it. Like I said, 100% literally just picked this up for parts. Uh, like I said, it's got like decent tires on it, so those would be good for like a little track day, you know, drift day, whatever. So... I got more than a couple of doors now. If I ever get good enough to where we can do like some tunnels with my friends. So. I'll have to dig through this and see what uh, is actually salvageable. But. side airbag kind of bummed me out because I actually wouldn't mind having a nicer set of seats the ones in my car is kind of messed up so it'd be nice to have something to ride around in until I get um to save up the money to buy some racing seats 
Man, kind of looks like maybe a knee or something went through that. Never seen that panel broke before. Uh, it's kind of odd that the side airbags would come out, but not the front. Because some of the damage was in the front, but I guess it didn't hit the, the little impact sensor or whatever. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you all this. Uh, 100% just for parts, so if you need anything that you see, let me know. I'll hook you up. I guess now we'll uh, we'll get back started on the, the white car and get the, the welded diff in, which I've already got it in. I just got to finish it up and finish up the hydro. Uh, yeah, just this morning went and picked that car up. But, so we got the diff in. I uh, just got to... Uh, Finishing tightening a few bolts and we should be able to go test it out. So Okay guys, that's pretty much it for the uh, for the diff install. Uh, didn't really go into detail with it. Like I said, I don't think too many people would be interested in that. There's plenty of videos on there. Just kind of want to share my experience with y'all. Um, that's pretty much it. Just kind of show y'all a little bit of the little particular things I do, I guess, whatever. Um, but like I said, next will be the hydro install. So hope you guys will come back for that one. Um, like I'm kind of in a rush, I want to get this thing together. We've got some events coming up and I want to go to them. So yeah, kind of throwing this thing together as fast as I can, trying to get as much footage as I can, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's it. Um, hope to see you back on the next one for the hydro install and uh, that's it. See you guys later.